very much for joining us on yet another edition of Lawyers Alert's Thursday Facebook Live series. On behalf of the board and management of Lawyers Alert, we wish you a happy new year and we thank you for sticking with us all through the years under this series. For persons who are new to this series, we principally discuss topical issues alongside informative, educative, and relevant resources needed for the promotion, protection, and advancement of the rights of women and vulnerable groups in Nigeria. My name is Rosalyn Ogene Brumem, and for today's topic, we'll be discussing Lawyers Alert and the New Year going forward. What should be expected of us? What should you look out for? I'll principally be discussing the topic of today under Lawyers Alert's four broad thematic areas, which is the gender and human rights, elections, democracy and good governance, campaigns and movement building, then security and access to justice. Under our gender and human rights program, in this year, we'll focus on empowering women and girls, especially those at the grassroots, on how to break the culture of silence and protect them from violence. Also, we will deepen our work with regards to sensitization and awareness creation. Findings from the previous year and other years revealed that women and girls, not just those at the grassroots, but those who are at the city centers, do not know what to do when their rights have been violated. For example, take, take, let's take on the issue of rape. Most persons do not know what to do when they have been raped. They, they tend to take a shower, they fail to visit a hospital for post-exposure prophylaxis and all the likes. All of all these things tamper with the evidence that would have been used for us to carry out the necessary legal support to these persons. Also, with regards to the issue of HIV infection. We need to carry out thorough sensitization so that persons can understand the science with regards to the transmission of HIV. Also, we'll be strengthening and deepening our work on TB by empowering people affected by tuberculosis and lawyers towards using the law to promote and protect the rights of persons affected by TB. We'll focus on awareness creation on the existence of the Disability Act. Most persons in Nigeria do not even understand or know that the Nigeria Disability Act exists. In this year, we would also focus on the implementation of the relevant laws and policies that aim to promote and protect gender-based violence and XRHR. For example, two of these laws are the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act, the Administration of Criminal Justice Act. We will be working with other security agencies and further deepen our work with the gender unit of the Nigerian police force towards ending violence against women and girls. And aside deepening our work, we'll continuously link them up with women and girls who are at the grassroots for ease of reportage and swift responses for instances of gender-based violence. In this year, we will deepen our work on trafficking and our focus will principally be on women and girls within the age bracket 15 to 24 years in the internally displaced persons camps. The reason why our focus is shifting to the IDP camps because this is now the route that girls are being trafficked out of Nigeria. We would intentionally carry out sensitization and awareness creation for ladies and engage the relevant stake actors in this regard. We would further leverage on intersectional approaches for the advancement of SRHR for marginalized group. In this year, we will continuously monitor and document human rights violations associated with SRHR, gender-based violence, and petty offenses, alongside the continuous sharing of data with relevant stakeholders, beneficiaries, partners towards law and policy reform and for informed and tailored interventions. Our next program area which we will be working on in this year is the elections, democracy and good governance. Under this program, we would deepen our work on open government partnership by mobilizing civil society and non-state actors on engaging the state actors towards the need to sign up for the open government partnership. In this year, we'll build the capacity of women to track budgetary allocations towards holding 
the elected leaders accountable on issues of GBV and SRHR. In the year 2022, which is the year before the election year, we will focus on voter education and we'll focus on training the police and other security agencies towards understanding policing within the habit of human rights during election and would also conduct sensitizations and relevant trainings for civil society organizations on elections monitoring. Under our campaigns and movement building program, we will build the capacity of grassroots organizations and emerging leaders to continuously advocate for SRHR. We will continuously strengthen the SRHR movement in Nigeria, which comprises of about 80 organizations who are working together to enhance and advance SRHR in Nigeria. They will be strengthened to become better sexual and reproductive health and rights advocates and to influence resources with regards to GBV and SRHR. In year 2022 also, we will strengthen the petty offenses movement. And this movement is called the Alliance for the Decriminalization of Petty Offenses in Nigeria. The movement consists of both state and non-state actors who are jointly working towards the decriminalization and declassification of petty offenses in Nigeria. One may ask, what are petty offenses? Petty offenses are minor offenses other than felonies and they are, they are said to be victimless. For example, hawking, loitering, wandering, etc. In this year, we will strengthen the petty offences movement towards ensuring that the efforts are coordinated in the campaign to decriminalize and declassify petty offences in Nigeria. This is because there is a nexus between petty offences and the civil space in Nigeria. In this year, we will carry out continuous campaigns on GBV, SRHR and petty offences across Nigeria who will go beyond the traditional norm and setting of carrying out meetings in hotel halls and all of that. We will go to the grassroots where we will meet up with these persons in marketplaces, in religious centres and several other places where these, these target beneficiaries are situated. In this year, we will build networks between lawyers, people affected by tuberculosis and the media to promote a right-based, people-centered and gender-transformative tuberculosis response. We'll be engaging in tuberculosis advocacy and accountability initiatives. Also, we'll be working closely with key influencers. Persons may ask who are key influencers. These are celebrities, traditional rulers, religious persons, and opinion leaders towards carrying out campaigns on ending violence against women and girls in Nigeria. In this year further, we would build the capacity of journalists and media persons on how to report issues of gender-based violence and SRHR. Reported on SRHR on GBV should be via human rights lens. We will be building the capacity on how to report GBV and SRHR using the human rights lens. And we will further ensure that their capacity is enhanced so they can take ownership of stories that is being produced by them. The next arm of our program is the security and access to justice. Lawyers Alert will continually provide free legal representation and support to women and vulnerable persons in Nigeria. These are principally persons who are underserved in the country. The persons who fall within the ambit of our human rights and legal representation are persons living with, affected by, or most at risk of HIV. They are the vulnerable women, they are the children, they are persons living with HIV, they are persons affected by tuberculosis, they are sexual minorities, they are sexual workers, they are persons with disabilities, and persons who use and inject drugs. In this year, we will continuously carry out strategic and public impact litigation. Public impact litigation principally involves selecting and bringing cases to the courtroom with the goal of creating broader change in the society. And the goal for our strategic and public impact litigation in this year is to use the law to leave a lasting mark beyond just winning the case, um, the case at hand. In the year 2022, we'll continually advocate for access to justice for all 
through carrying out interventions that aim to tackle stigmatization and discrimination of vulnerable persons alongside decriminalization of punitive laws and policies that exacerbate inequalities and drive HIV infection. In this year also, we would focus more on the decongestion of correctional facilities and other detention centers, especially for persons who are detained on account of petty offenses. In the year 2022, we will engage and sensitize the judicial sector on their social engineering responsibilities. Furthermore, we'll be training and bringing human rights lawyers on board for continuous litigation for the advancement of the rights of the poor, vulnerable, marginalized groups in the society. In summary, our intervention for the year 2022 would be principally to empower women and vulnerable groups through the knowledge of their rights and accessible means of enforcing the same in a secure environment. This is geared towards Lawyers Alert's vision, which is to see a developed world where women and vulnerable groups are free from injustice. Thank you once again for being part of our literacy series. We look forward to receiving you next week. Bye-bye.